You guys, so it's official. I just received a call and we're gonna go do a job. It's a small reduction prune. Not much is coming off the tree. It's probably around 10 foot and there's some decay right there in the trunk. Um, it is cause for concern being that it does have like, it kind of favors towards the house. So it kind of leans that way. My thing is just trying not to take too much off. Anyway, we're gonna go out there. We're gonna prune the tree. We're gonna make sure we do it safe. It's gonna be me and my brother. We're gonna have seen us. Well, not that we're gonna have. We have seen us. And the Cenas were perfectly fine in my experience. So just having that ground to, to air communication and vice versa is um, just completely revolutionary for the type of work we do. Small actions uh, don't require you to stop your chainsaw, lift your ear off, what? <laughs> and then they say it again, and then you're like, wait, one of two things happen. Either they're gonna be like, wait, say it again? Or, all right, I got you. So it's kind of a delayed response that doesn't always work perfectly. So what I mean to say by saying all of that is that basically within the realm of communication, it was, it was horrible. Like we were always yelling and trying to yell over the, the chainsaws. No one could hear anybody. I've seen people almost killed by this, um, by that, you know, just if we had seen us that instant, like, Hey, get out of the way real quick. Or it'd be like, Hey Joe, I need you to move out of the way. I'm dropping the log. You know, that kind of thing. Um, log coming down. Make sure everyone's out of the way. Bam. Let's go. All clear. No all clear back. Maybe you shouldn't throw it, man. All clear. Thumbs up, somebody. Two people. Come on. Where's the other guy? I mean, it's got to be that way because... If you're not all communicating that you're in a safe position, how do you wish to proceed? Uh, in a less safe way or manner, you can proceed, but proceeding that way is sometimes it's irrevocable, like a death.
Hey, bro. Yeah. Um, stuff this bag with the rope real quick and then tie the rope to the handle real tight with two knots. Yeah. Hang on. All right, bro, I want you to, I want you to pull as I cut, okay? Pull as you cut? Yeah, well, let me get like, once you see I'm like a third of the way through the branch, start to pull. I can't, I can't really see, man, I don't got my glasses. I'll give you a heads up. Just let me know. Yeah. Pull. All right, hang tight, hang tight. Hang tight, hang tight. Pull. 
Go ahead, one more time. Good. Good, good, good. Let it down. That thing was spongy dead. That's how rotten it was. Ready? Yeah. I'm ready, man. Yeah, there you go. Sounds like a big dog, bro. So it's probably a Chihuahua. Ah. Gonna look, it's gonna have this effect. Oh, well, maybe not too much. It'll go tip down. What do you think? What do you think, butt down or tip down? Oh, damn, bro. Bro. Bro, so this rope was made by Petzl, bro. This, this orange rope. Huh? By Petzl. Petzl. Yeah. You know the guys that make the zigzag. And it feels really good, yo. It's got like this different braid. It's a, uh, it's like, feels good, man. And it's got this really cool splice that fits through the zigzag. I'm gonna pass your rope on, over a branch. Make sure your tail end is on the side you want it to go to. Uh, take your device off. Clip that carabiner to the butterfly. And then... Okay, so get the device over the crotch there. Good. And just bring it right back down. All right, so hold on to the mechanical because it might just run up if your system is set up right. All right, we go. All 
All right, so that's pretty much it for the dead over here. That's all the dead, really. You wanna get the rig? Huh? Yeah, that's right. I gotta go get that. Nah, bro. I gotta go get uh, the tip of that branch. Wait. Probably that one. Cause it's a code. Huh? I'm gonna go clip those, the two limbs on the end over there. Um because that right there is like a code dominant union and it's got included bark. So I'm gonna take some weight off of there. Bro, did you say that you couldn't use a foot ascender with a DRT system before? I think you did bro. Nah, bro. SRT isn't for experts. Well, you know what? It is. But a wise expert uses it wisely. I just had to... Look. Where's the end of this one? It's on that side. Right there, right? Yeah, that's it. Jala la la verga, no, no te quedes viendo. Chingao. What? Nah. Yeah that spring season poking its head through you know I remember in 2014 we were getting snow oh we're Y no te quitas, güey. Yeah, bro, when you're on the ground, you always see something different. No? Uh, probably not. Watch out, bro. Right here. 
fucking mucho. Pinche bizcocho. Pinche bizcocho gerendo. Pinche bizcocho de verga. De puras vergas. Menudas y todo el, todo el pedo. Hasta con olor de pedo. Chingado. Bro, you're supposed to be my expert groundsman. Why are you asking me how to get the rope? How to get that branch uh, off of the roof? It's your job, bro. It's not my job no more. I'll leave that to the experts. <laughs> nah, bro, I can't even throw behind me. I can't even throw that way. Ah. Okay, here. I'm gonna throw it. Bro, that thing flew, huh? Damn, dude. Yeah, bro, so the most annoying part about climbing is you have to have two points of contact if you're about to cut. In American standard. In Europe, it's three. Yeah, three points of contact. Yeah, exactly. Two lanyards, two, two systems, two climbing systems and a lanyard. Yeah, bro. Savage. You getting hungry, bro? Stop lying, bro. Real shit, bro. souvenirs man yeah man it's doing what it's supposed to I just slid. This branch pulled on my hitch. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get that. Don't let me forget that, bro.
Uh, she's gonna take out the little stuff and uh, kind of just move the weight off of it. We already took a bunch off of it. It's a lot. Just gotta be real conservative, man, or else we're gonna cause the tree to do worse. Watch out. Come on, man. Keep your eyes up, brother. Bro, get on the rope.
I'm just making a face cut. Pull it. Pull, bro. Hey bro, watch out, okay? All right. Heads up. So I forgot my uh, my retrieval ball and I forgot to put the shackle on. All right. 
Ouch. And here we go. Yep. Alright, so since we're in the dark, I'm going to opt for the natural crotch. It's just too um, dark to be trying to mess with uh, friction saver retrievals and all that stuff. So, I'm going to come down. So I gotta tame my line here. Got a lot of line. Okay. Alright. So I'm just gonna daisy chain it real quick. And that's it. So, just trimmed over the house there. Uh, got a bunch of dead wood that was hanging over this, overhanging this boat here. Uh, it's pretty dark now. <sighs> Took us about an hour, up there for about an hour, hour and change. No later than an hour and a half. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Cleaned it up a little bit. Try to keep the canopy intact. And, yep. <sighs> She's gonna come down someday soon. Yep. But uh, thanks, y'all. Thanks for visiting the channel, and uh, make sure to like and subscribe.